properties of acids and bases. According to Arrhenius concept of acids and bases, an acid is a substance which releases one or more H plus ions in aqueous solution, whereas base is a substance which releases one or more OH minus ions in aqueous solution. Many of the food items that we consume contain acids and bases and their presence can be identified with sour and bitter tastes. Substances with a sour taste is often regarded as acid. Lemon juice, vinegar, grape juice, etc. are examples of acids. Similarly, substances with a bitter taste and soapy touch are regarded as bases. Caustic soda, caustic potash, slaked lime, etc. are examples of bases. In this experiment, our aim is to study the properties of acids and bases HCl and NaOH by their reaction with litmus solution and solid sodium carbonate. Materials required Litmus solution blue and red HCl NaOH Dropper test tubes, sodium carbonate, boiling tube, round bottom flask, phenolphthalein, lime water, spatula, double bore cork, bent tube, thistle funnel and a stand with clamp. Procedure To study the action of HCl and NaOH on litmus solution, add a few drops of blue litmus solution in one test tube and red litmus solution in another test tube. Place both the test tube in the test tube stand and add a few drops of HCl in each test tube. You can see that the blue litmus solution changes to red. From this, we can infer that HCl is an acid having a pH value below 7. Similarly, add a few drops of NaOH to red litmus solution and blue litmus solution which is taken separately in two other test tubes. You can see that red litmus solution changes to blue which indicates that NaOH is an alkali having pH more than 7. To study the action of HCl and NaOH, on solid sodium carbonate, first clamp the round bottom flask to the stand and add a small quantity of sodium carbonate and a few drops of distilled water into it. Close the mouth of the flask with a double board cork and insert a thistle funnel and a bent tube into the different holes of the rubber cork. Now, pour a small quantity of lime water into the boiling tube and clamp it with another stand. Then add HCl to the sodium carbonate solution in the flask using the thistle funnel. You can see that a gas evolves and passes through the lime water and turns it milky. Here, due to the action of HCl on sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide is formed which turns lime water milky. 2HCl plus Na2CO3 gives you 2 NaCl plus CO2 plus H2O. CO2 plus CaOH2 gives you CaCO3 plus H2O. Now, add a small amount of sodium carbonate in a boiling tube and add NaOH solution into it. Then, shake the boiling tube well. Add a few drops of phenolphthalein into it. You can observe that the color of the solution turns pink, which indicates that both sodium carbonate and NaOH do not react but form an alkaline solution. Precautions Add HCl to sodium carbonate 
only after making the apparatus airtight. Otherwise, the gas evolved in the reaction will get away through the gap. Handle the chemicals HCl and NaOH carefully as they are harmful.